Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to BP. <sighs> I bought this Gold Star three months ago and we seem to have a bit of a problem. I bought it to promote the channel and it certainly helped promote the channel but we seem to have a bit of a problem with the Gold Star. Let's roll the intro. So, I've had this bike now, the Gold Star, the BSA Gold Star for three months. I bought the bike to promote Bankrupt Pensioner or BP as it's known as, it's known as now. And sure enough, this bike has helped promote the channel. And it's now three months since I've owned the bike. And I did say in a previous video uh, from a review perspective that I wasn't emotionally attached to this bike. Um, and over the last three months, things have sort of changed. I'm getting emotionally attached. So we have a problem. We have a bit of a problem. I've got a few plans for it for January, February, March, and was planning on to selling it in April. But now I'm thinking about taking it over to America and riding from the East Coast to the West Coast of America and documenting that on YouTube. It's... Uh, I'm falling in love. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, early on this year in 2023, sorry, last year in 2023, I was playing around on a Royal Enfield Hunter, and that was great, but I didn't fall in, didn't fall in love with it. It was a great bike. And then I, you know, and then I handed it back and got rid of it, and it was great, it was great. But this BSA Gold Star, She's, uh, she's playing a mind game with me. And not only, you know, not, not only is it a great bike to ride, you know, the brakes are great, the engine's great, it's got tons of power, it makes a beautiful noise, the clocks look great, everything looks great, and yes, I know the engine light's on, but that new uh, firmware update will resolve that problem. But uh, this one, this bike is is really playing a mind game on me it uh, I was hoping to sell it in April but I'm not sure I'm going to be selling her I'm thinking about taking her over to America and uh, riding her I don't know New York to California and have a bit of fun over there in America because she's absolutely perfect I know I've got the Triumph Tiger and the Triumph Tiger is a much better bike for going across America but if you want to go in style, my God, you will really need to go on a BSA Gold Star. And that does ring true. It's just saturated with style. People, as I ride around and stop, people look at me and talk to me. And they think it's a beautiful looking bike. So if you don't, you know, if you don't like talking to people and you're thinking about getting a Gold Star, then maybe you ought to reconsider and get a Royal Enfield or something. And for a brand new price of £6,000, on the road for brand new, you're going to get great value for money and great fun off this bike. It's great fun. And uh, I never thought I'd get attached to it. When I look in the garage and see the Tiger and the Gold Star, I always look at the Gold Star and start smiling. Yeah, in a different way to the smile that I look at the Tiger. Yeah, this, this Gold Star takes you to a different place. And people look at you and they just smile on this, what they believe is a 50-year-old reconditioned bike. They don't realize it's brand new. It's bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. So, three months in, having a wonderful time. Uh, she's a lovely old girl. Tons of power, 70 miles per gallon, plenty of fun and plenty of looks from everybody that's looking at you. It's so funny. So if you're thinking about going and buying one, just think of that additional dimension that comes into play. People will look at you and smile and maybe want to talk to you. Yes? I'm just saying that, you know, 
it's a it's a great little machine and it causes a lot of attention it uh, it's a wonderful thing I just thought I'd give you a quick three month update mechanically there's nothing wrong with the bike the front brake is great the rear brake is great the suspension on the bike could do with upgrading maybe but I think it's okay I'm not too fussy yeah uh, the front suspension's nice and soft everything's fine the tires are good the spoke wheels are good the chain is good I've not had to adjust it now I've got something like 1800 miles on it uh, it's ev everything is absolutely fine the electronics are good everything's good uh, you know it's, it's just a great machine if you're thinking about buying one go to your local dealer go and test ride one for maybe half an hour an hour maybe two hours if you can squeeze it and go and enjoy something that's completely different on the road she's a beautiful single cylinder engine and she's the, the she, she's not she's not a you know it's such a smooth engine I don't know how BSA have got this single 650 thumper so smooth I've no idea how they've done it it's so well balanced and that's another thing the, the ratios between the gears of the five-speed gearbox that it's got the ratios are absolutely perfect absolutely perfect they're absolutely lovely and it's just you know it's just like riding an old bike with modern design modern technology within it and it's just it's just absolutely wonderful if you're thinking about buying one go see your local dealer I hope you found this three month review and it's not technical yeah it's not technical I don't need to be technical uh, it's not a technical review uh, it's just an emotional review of saying that it's a great bike and it's fun to ride and if you're looking for a bit of fun then go and buy one yeah it's not the fastest machine it's no RD 500 LC it's not designed for that it's designed to chug and chug all the way through the town centre and cruise at 75 mile an hour down the motorways and it has no problem doing either and when I want to race it I just open the throttle and uh, let them ponies scream it's got 45 horsepower and it's more than enough it takes it well over 100 miles an hour not that I've done it on the uh, public roads of the UK but it certainly goes over 100 mile an hour I hope you found this useful be kind to everyone remember it's cold in the UK so if you see someone that's uh, needing a bit of help reach out to them and uh, offer them offer the guys on the street uh, a hot chocolate and a sandwich give them a bit of cash and uh, make their day a little bit easier yeah be kind to everyone shiny side up hope you found this useful don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like send me a million pound if you wish thank you for watching hope you found it fun see you very soon thank you bye bye